We're going to install Windows really good edition known as Windows RG. Not the Flash game, but an actual Windows bootleg, and let's just see how terrible it is. Booting into the CD, it uses Windows May setup as the boot method. But when you choose the first option, it will provide step-by-step -step instructions on what you need to do to install the bootleg. Surprisingly, this uses Norton Ghost to install the OS, well, I can see the reason why. Opening Norton Ghost, navigating through disks to copy the ghost file to the target disk. Okay, what? <laughs> I can't choose the drive, well, how? Okay, let me reboot. Ah, I see, I gotta use partition magic to create a partition first. Oh, finally, I can select the partition. By rebooting the machine, now we can- Oh, uh, what the heck? <laughs> I guess the OS is really ghosting me. <laughs> Reformatting and reapplying the ghost file, we got into the second phase of the setup, which adds new hardware that really made me click multiple keys. Again. And again. And again! Well, you thought it's enough? No! <laughs> again! And again! I know! And again! And finally it finishes! Thank god. Rebooting the OS for the third time, there's the fabulous boot screen of Windows RJ. And there's scan disk, just like Windows Me. <laughs> and now, we are finally on the desktop. We can see- oh! There's an error. Okay. Now we can finally- oh, oh gosh. Errors again? Finally, we got rid of the errors. And now we are finally- uh, Oh wait, there's a welcome screen. Nice! Does it behave like Windows Vista's version? Oh, cannot find anything. Great. No welcome screen for us. And now it's asked me to register a copy, I guess? Oh, <laughs> you ain't bother searching either. <laughs> Alright, we are finally on the desktop. We can see that this bootleg incorporates the bright blue desktop color background, the funny taskbar, and the shortcut to Windows Media Player. Wow, this feels like a very good edition of Windows, eh? Opening the Windows Explorer, we can see that this looks firm, well, similar to normal Windows Explorer, and for the win out, this uses the absolute blue as a title bar color. Other than that, there is no changes. And I love the description says, from here you can break your computer. <laughs> as if I will. Opening the C drive, this looks normal, right? Well, until you open my documents and it doesn't contain anything. And ended up just trashing you for opening it. Opening a recycle bin will show important files in it, like, what? And I can actually empty the bin? Wow, Windows RJ, that's very brave of you. And also, by opening the Windows folder, and it decided to ask a password for me. I don't know what the password is, like, what? A bunch of random passwords, I guess. Oh, <laughs> it displays a password. Come on, that's not fair. Well, okay. We'll get back to the Windows folder later. Opening the About Windows, and you can see that this is definitely Windows RG. Really good addition. That's a very good effort there. Going back to the desktop, by opening the Windows Media Player, you can see that there's my channel page, and you might have forgot to click the subscribe button, so be sure to subscribe, eh? <laughs> okay, for real. When you open Windows Media Player, it instantly opens a quote unquote file and plays it. And wow, that's a very entertaining with the color play. You can't track the seeker, you just let this play over and over again. And eventually it crashes itself for illegal operation. <laughs> Moving on to the start menu, there are many options here that you can do with this bootleg. Some of them are actually useful from the surface. We have Word pre-installed by default. Amazing! Wait, this doesn't look wordy at all. This looks more like Notepad. You get the annoying but beloved Clippy, 
that will not gonna guide you all. And instead, it just overrides your documents with something it likes and shows a picture of its brother. And literally, shot. Wow, I think Lumi should pull a clippy. We have Windows Update in here, which is definitely designed by a nine-year-old. <laughs> by continuing, the program <laughs> crashes the OS as a whole. <laughs> what the heck? I can't believe that I have to restart the OS for this. Oh, there's Crash? Uh, no, thank you. Moving to Solitaire. It actually launches, but it definitely unplayable. It doesn't even have the proper cards displayed there. In this bootleg, you can order food in here. Hey, you can Uber in here. We have prune juice, slice of ham, and chickpeas. And we cannot... Oh, I can't. And this one. Well, I can't order this. And this one also. Well, <laughs> I can't order this. Alright, I can't do all the things. And... Oh, there's enough food for everyone. Oh, really? <laughs> there's Windows Explorer. And it doesn't even connect to the internet because somehow this is so satirical. There's paint which glitches and flickers, indicating that you cannot paint in this bootleg. Are you lost in this bootleg? You can use Windows RG help to do it. But then you can't do that because there's no result. And when you try to view possible matches, it crashes the OS as a whole. Again! <laughs> wow! How many crushes until I can get an award? Aside from that, you can set the desktop background to any available background. There's XP backgrounds, there's Bliss with BSOD, and there's another, <laughs> and there's BSOD, <laughs> and there's Card Gradient, and many more! Screen service doesn't have much changes, or don't have much changes. And within appearance, you can set the appearance back to the original Windows main, since this is based on Windows main. And since this is based on Windows main, I have to remind you, you can open control panel by spawning it via run dialog. This bootleg uses Windows MA sounds, maybe? Turning back to the desktop, you can play the original Windows RG game inside this Windows RG bootleg. <laughs> Guess this bootleg isn't enough for ya. Oh yeah, remember that you can't enter the Windows folder and it asks you for a password? Well, you can by manually typing the address on the Windows Explorer. And there it is. You can enter the directory and boy it's a messy arrangement. Opening the RG folder welcomes you with this <laughs> meme. And it contains all resources needed for the RG Law to run. There's this troll image. There's this animation for the Windows Media Player. As well as many others. Going back to the start menu, although it looks useless from the service because of those items, you can sort of restore the original items by right-clicking the button and open the start menu folder by moving Oh, and moving the RG stuff to the hidden programs folder. And there you go! You can run normal Windows main applications like Command Prompt and Spider Solitaire. And last but not least, when you shut down the OS, the OS will definitely... Oh, it asks me for a warning. And another warning. And one last warning again. And a warning. And also this warning! And it finally shut down the OS. See, this is a very nice bootleg based on the actual Flash game. How is this possible? Well, someone emailed me to try this out. And I definitely tried this out. Want to suggest me a bootleg? You can try emailing me or join the Discord server. And since it's practically installable on the actual hardware, you can try this on your computer. Why not? Try this out. Well...